And this morning, CBS 4 News is speaking with Flores' attorney about the lawsuit and the, what the fallout could lead to. CBS 4's Keith Jones continues our live team coverage from Hard Rock Stadium. Keith, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, the Stephen Ross's statement came out so late last night. It's certainly worth repeating. He says he's a man of honor. He's a man of integrity. And these allegations are false, malicious, and defamatory. And he will cooperate with any investigation. That being said, Flores and his attorneys beg to differ. Black men do not get the same opportunities as white men do in terms of coaching and managing and something needs to change. Brian Flores' attorney, David Gottlieb, says his client's recent claim of discrimination in the NFL is nothing new. Flores is just the first person who's been brave enough to speak about it after a fake interview with the Giants. He learns before the interview uh, that a decision's already been made. It's not him. And the only reason they're doing the interview is a sham to comply with the Rooney Rule. The 2003 Rooney Rule requires NFL teams with head coaching vacancies to interview at least one diverse candidate. But CBS Sports reporter Jonathan Jones says allegations in this lawsuit that Dolphins owner Stephen Ross offered Flores $100,000 for every game he lost in 2019 may be a bigger issue. If the team owner uh, is monetarily incentivizing the head coach to actively lose the game, then it's not any given Sunday, and the integrity is called into question. And then you throw on top of all of that the fact that Stephen Ross, at the same time in 2019, uh, has been reported to have invested in sports gambling companies. The Dolphins denied any wrongdoing. Regardless of whether anything actually took place, but the perception is already terrible, we're potentially talking about a Stephen Ross expulsion as an owner of an NFL club. We're talking about congressional subpoenas and regulations. This would be far, far reaching. Jones adds Flores has gone on record saying he does have evidence and that he was discriminated against and labeled as an angry black man when he refused to follow the requests. And the Dolphins have also pointed to their diversity matrix, as they call it, uh, regarding these allegations of discrimination. They deny that, saying they have 11 minorities right now in their football operations, and that includes the front office.